Hi everyone and all you maniacs, welcome back to another episode of ML Plays FIFA 15, episode number 17. Today it's Hartlepool versus Leeds. We're taking a trip away up to Leeds for this game. We come off the uh, best game that we've had so far this season as well. We won the last game against Charlton Athletic 3-0. Biggest league well, win that we've had so Blackburn far. Rovers, really did well with it, and we are now ninth in the league. Awesome. Anyway, today we're at Hart we're at Leeds, as I said. Hartlepool are playing in the blue and white stripes. Leeds are all in the all whites, the lily whites, as they're normally known. And well, away we go, off up to Leeds. I'm going to play on four minutes on professional and see if we can uh, carry on this winning run that we're on at the moment. Wow, Hello that looks like a big stadium. We're at the East the Point Arena then. It's Leeds United against Hartlepool uh, United. It's classed as the home the ground for Leeds United on uh, on FIFA. Straight to Leeds. As you can team, see, Leeds Martin just Tyler slightly above us in the table by one point. This Here game is an all-or-nothing game then. The winner Martin will go really a couple of points clear of the game. loser. What an awesome game this should turn out to be. As long as it really don't well. end up Last as a nil-nil draw. Fingers crossed, touch Charlton. wood, yeah, all the rest of that sort of shit. Anyway, here they both come out lining up, ready for the uh, the lineups at the start of the game. If you've seen my videos before, you'll know how I'm going to do this. I will commentate on the Hartlepool players as I kind of know who they are. There you are, the two main men there, Lee and Alessandra, who normally play up front. But as I say, I will commentate on the uh, Hartlepool players. I don't know who the Leeds players are, so I don't know if that's a decent squad or not. If it is, then I'm going to struggle. If it ain't, then, well, I should be able to smash a few past them. Uh, they're playing the formation that I hate, that I really hate playing against and can't seem to score against. Anyway, here's the Hartlepool lineup. We've got Halstead back in goal, making a return to goal again. Richards, Nerney coming back from suspension. Bates and Jones at the back with then Mal Walker, Parnaby and Compton in the middle. And as I said a little bit earlier, Lee and Alessandra up front. Let's see if they can smash a few goals in today for us and see if we can go a little bit further up this league there's Richards not settled really at the club he scored a brilliant goal a couple of games ago but uh, his defending's leaving a little bit to be desired this um, this season to be honest with you so uh, yeah I mean the commentators mentioned it in the other game as well that he wasn't playing to his ability the best of his ability but we'll see what happens anyway we're kicking off and Hartlepool are going from right to left on this uh, game of FIFA and away we go and Mal plays a ball up towards Richards who seems to always be pushing forwards he don't seem to be in a defensive place and that's a lovely through ball straight away with less than two minutes left on the uh, on the clock and uh, the ball played through oh they've given it offside he was just offside so unlucky but he's showing Leeds that we're here to do a job and we're here to win the game we want all three points today anyway Leeds played a ball long up the field headed back by the midfield of Hartlepool not getting up to Lee though and now Leeds are back on the attack playing a lovely little through ball there into the centre of the pitch he gets upended by uh, Parnaby I think it was oh no sorry it was by Bates and the referee's blown up for a free kick there I think he's a little bit too far out to be having a go at goal but I've not, I have seen it happen before where they have a shot from here and I've seen them go in Six and a half minutes played. Is he going to have a go at goal? He runs up and he plays a long ball over the top, headed away by the defender from Hartlepool. Plays up to the edge of the penalty area again and he looks like they're getting ready to smash it a goal. But Walker comes in, intercepts the ball and now they're on the run. He's got Lee and Alessandra both running up the front with him. He tries to play a long through ball over the top, doesn't manage to get through and gets intercepted by the defender. And now Leeds are once again Here's on the, the attack, trying Reddick. to go down the middle of this pitch. Forest. No well, mess in there from in. Bates or Parnaby. They get the ball and try to smash it Defending forwards there. once again. Now it's Richards, he plays a ball out towards Mau. 
He's doing an overlap up the wing. And then Mao's still got the ball. He loses out, though, to the midfielder, unfortunately, who plays it back towards the other Leeds defender. Now the Leeds defender just playing around with the Hartlepool players, making them look a little bit silly. Takes on two of them and goes round them both. He loses out, though, to Alessandra. And now Alessandra tries to play a little through ball on for Lee into the open space. Lee just doesn't have the legs to make it in time. And unfortunately... Uh, well, I, I was going to say, unfortunately, the ball's gone out for a throw-in, but it hasn't. Edmau managed to keep it in there. And now they're playing the ball back up the pitch. Edmau gets the ball, gets in, and gets stuck in to Parnaby. Parnaby knocks it forwards towards Lee. And the referees, well, the linesman's flagging for something. It looks like he's given an offside decision again. Slightly, slightly offside. Never mind. Anyway, Leeds kick the ball straight back up and it's cleared back down the pitch by, by, uh, by uh, Bates. And now it's Alessandra with the ball running down this wing. He's got support in the middle. He tries to get the crossover, gets tackled by the Leeds defender. Now a little through ball to Alessandra has a go at goal and it ricochets off a defender. And it's a panic clearance for Leeds to get it out of their area. Emmel now trying to close down the ball. He's a little bit further back than what he should be. Parnaby and uh, Richards He's both been challenge. played out of position and Leeds are on the attack. Richards comes back across though, takes her ball, and knocks it forwards towards Emmau. Emmau looking for support. He's got Lee up in front and he's got Walker with him. Walker tries to get the ball. The referee blows up for another offside decision. Absolutely shocking. I know, I, I understand that he is offside and all the rest of it but sometimes the benefit of the doubts needed anyway the ball played long up towards the lead striker Parnaby gets well, the ball though he's running now back at the uh, the defenders run. gets tackled referee waves no, play on he's not happy about it the lead midfielder about that and he's uh, he's showing it to the uh, the referee is also a Leeds player still down on the floor. The referee now has blown, blown up and uh, full play back. He stopped play for this uh, injury now. The referee's just dropped the ball and they're going to give it back to the other team. Substitution it looks like and the drop ball there played back towards uh, Hartlepool. Hartlepool now on the attack. Diara going off and Smith coming on for Leeds due to his injury. I'll let you know more about that if I hear more about it as the game progresses. Anyway, the ball getting played forward by Leeds now on the edge of the area. They lose it out and now they've got it back again. They're trying to go down the wing. A little tackle there doesn't really do what is needed. And, uh, well, the ball's gone out for a throw in, but I think the referee may have blown for the free kick. He has. He blew for the free kick for, against Hartlepool again there. Anyway, Mal coming over to get into the wall this side. Leeds with a free kick, they're not within shooting range but he plays a lovely ball into the centre, it's cleared away by the Hartlepool defender and now they're on the run again, Lee plays the ball forward for Emmel to run onto, he's going to be a little bit out of reach for him, the defender for Leeds gets the ball back and plays it up the wing, tackled by Alessandra, Alessandra now turns, knocks the ball forward to Lee, he's got help in the form of Emmel, he played it out wide though and Emmel just doesn't have the legs to get to it. And the ball goes out for a throw-in. Emmau's really looking tired in this first half as well. He really needs to uh, get off for this uh, first half and have a bit of a break, I think, ready for the second half. Free kick there as well by Lee, giving away a free kick to Leeds. I don't understand why he did that. The referee blew up straight away. This referee seems a little bit choppy in his play. He's not allowing the game to run freely, if I'm honest with you. He kind of uh, keeps blowing for the slightest little niggle. No wasting time here. Anyway, Leeds throw the ball back in and they hit it straight back out for a throw into uh, Hartlepool. Emmau throws a ball in. The ball played in towards the middle and uh, Emmau knocks it forwards. Oh, and that through. is the end of the first and half. And you. it doesn't no, look no. like anybody no, looks like scoring no, in this game. Absolutely minutes. shocking not first half of football. Nobody really looking in. like they want to exciting. score. No. Both teams yeah, trying to attack, but, but as soon minutes, as they get down, they're getting um, blocked so out by the defenders. And the uh, well, scoreless. both defensive Let's teams are, are doing really well. Half.
and then we'll be back over to your commentary they, team. They're not allowing the anything to go through that back four or the back five. Well, it's the back five for Leeds and the back four for uh, Hartlepool. There's the scores from around the ground, though. Some other good scores going on there. But we're going to carry on with this match and hopefully someone will get the breakthrough in this second half because let's hope that they don't have another half of, uh, well, like the first one was, if I'm honest with you. Right, the ball played forward to Alessandra. Alessandra looks forward. He's got Emmao to his left. Uh, sorry, to his right. He plays the ball forward to Emmao. Emmao tries to cut inside. He gets tackled, though, Excellent by the Leeds midfielder. And, and now Leeds are once Don't again on the attack. He plays the ball through Redding. towards the striker. Knocks it through again. That's a lovely through ball. They're in the penalty area. Hartlepool have to be very careful there because it looked like he was going to go down. He did stumble just much, as he was about to have his shot, the Leeds player was, but he managed to stay on his feet and the referee allowed play to carry on. And now Lee is going on the attack again, but only as far as the defenders for Leeds and gets tackled. No problems at all. Leeds once again. It is end-to-end -end stuff. It's just that nobody is managing to get the attack out. That would have been offside yes. if the ball had gone through anyway. So it's a good job he didn't play it. Leeds playing a really high line up the pitch, to be honest with you. Not allowing anybody to get past them um, without going offside, really. But Alessandra's ran past them now and he's slotted it across the front of goal. Nobody there to put on the end of it. Walker didn't manage to get there. Lee didn't manage to get there, and nor did anyone else who was Goal up front running there, Norwich. who could have just Alan stuck McAdoo. a leg out and could have probably Norwich. finished Leeds off there with that attack. Anyway, the ball getting played forwards and not managing to do much with it. Leeds on the attack, and as you can see there, Norwich City winning their game 3-1 at the moment. That is really helpful to them and making them go a bit more clear at the top of the league. There's our next game of the season. Hartlepool versus Middlesbrough at home. I hope you'll come and join us for well, that. Could be that but we'll be playing, like as I say, we'll be playing game. back at the town park the, where Hartlepool play. Anyway, here, we're going to make a substitution, bring off Brad Walker. I'm going to bring on Lewis Hawkins. I haven't played Hawkins for a while lately. Um, he's, he wants to get back into first team football. He got injured uh, towards the end of last season, so he's kind of getting back into the swing of things now. Hopefully his uh, fitness will be up to the levels needed to play in this game and he may be able to do something about scoring a goal because it has been known that Lewis Hawkins comes on as a super sub and gets the one goal needed for the win. Anyway, Parnaby plays the ball forward to Compton. Compton looks up, he's trying to go down the wing, he plays it forward to Lee who knocks it through to Alessandra, Alessandra tries to go around the defender, doesn't manage to do so, once again it's this formation that I'm playing against that I cannot seem to break down whenever I get to the back, I have tried everything to break down this formation and score in plenty of games previously but for some reason this formation always seems to elude me and I cannot seem to beat it. Anyway, it's a free kick there on the edge of the area to Hartlepool. Decision, one way or another, the scores are level, and only comes to try and tilt the game. Jonathan Franks coming on for Emmau. Emmau feeling very tired after that run out today. Um, he does need to have a bit of a rest. Hopefully, he'll be used as a squad rotation over the next couple of games to uh, get his fitness levels back up. Because soon we are going to be having a uh, run in the uh, FA Cup which we will be uh, suddenly coming into soon I would have imagined shouldn't be too long till that starts up Hawkins. and hopefully we can get a decent run in it this time I mean obviously if we don't get a decent run in it we'll be able to concentrate on the league and aim for promotion but it would be nice to get some kind of um, silverware now that we're going up these leagues. Anyway, Hawkins now with the ball. He's running it back at the defence. He just seems to have lost all power. Doesn't manage to get through. The ball played forward. Got out by the keeper. And now the defenders with the ball. It gets intercepted though by Lee. Lee tries to knock it past the defender. Doesn't manage to do so. Gets tackled and Lee is still down in the penalty area of the Leeds players. Referee's blown. And there's something going on there. He's not happy about And Lee is still down in that area. And let's hope that that isn't a bad thing because, well, here's Ross coming on for Lee at the moment. He's able to walk off, so obviously the injury isn't that bad. But uh, he stayed down for a very long time, and that's a little bit worrying for Hartlepool. Don't want to be losing Lee at this point in the season, to be honest with you. 
Here's Ross coming on though to take his place. Ross who scored two goals in the last game against uh, Charlton Athletic. He had an absolute blinder of a game. Why he hasn't started today, I don't know because he seemed to be on a roll last time. Let's hope that he could do something and maybe even score the winner for this one. As you can see, Lee has gone off with an injury. I'll let you know more about that when the time comes. If we hear more we're about it today, if not, we may hear about Jeffries. it next game. Yeah. I don't know. Let's one. hope it's and nothing too serious. Trying out. As you Could can see, twisted here. his knee apparently. That's what the physios are saying down on the bench. So Lee could be out of action for a couple of games could be just a slight knock and he might be back next game we'll have to see what happens when you rejoin us against Middlesbrough at home which is the next game of our season this game against Leeds is 85 That's minutes well played worked. it is That's still nil nil it doesn't look like anybody is going anywhere near the goals to score it has been end-to-end oh, -end stuff but without the shots at goal or without the attacks on goal and here we go the last minute is there going to be a goal here for Leeds they're pushing forward they don't manage to do so and it's cleared away by Compton who knocks it forward to Alessandra and I think it was the curse of the commentator at the very start where I said let's hope this isn't a nil-nil draw well let's hope that I never say that at the start of a match again because unfortunately this one looks like it's heading that way. We've got three minutes of added time onto the end of this 90 minutes here. And as I say, it is currently nil-nil. And there we go. The referee calls an end to this game. It has finished here. Hartlepool nil. Leeds United nil. Not the best of games. Bit of a even Stevens type of game. Nobody really getting away with the shots, nobody being able to press forwards and both keepers earning their money for absolutely nothing. That's good for them. When so they have a day ballers, like that, then they earn the money the for absolutely nothing. Uh, let's hope time. they don't get a bit complacent though with that sort of thing. Anyway, here's the highlights of the match. There won't be that many highlights because there weren't that many shots at goal. I don't even remember that one happening. <laughs> but um, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe I've just watched a completely different match to watch EA and now put it onto my screen. There we go. That is in the second half by the looks of it. And, well, that that is your uh, highlights for this game. That was absolutely <laughs> shocking. And, well, let's hope that the next game against Middlesbrough is a lot better. I really do apologise for this game against Leeds. Anyway, you can't win them all. There's got to be games sometimes English where they're boring and shit. And this, Black unfortunately, one. is one of Barnes them League. days. Yeah. Anyway, here's the scores Bolton from Wanderers around the grounds. Two. Take West it away, big man. One. Bournemouth, one. Sheffield Wednesday, two. Charlton Athletic, two. Brighton and Hove Albion, two. Huddersfield Town 1, Ipswich Town Sheffield 2, Sheffield Wednesday, Leeds Blackburn United, Rovers, Nil, Norwich United, City, Nil, all top of the league teams, three, all getting the win two, today two, uh, and one, basically Cardiff extending City, their two, lead on this Norwich championship three, table. Wolverhampton Wanderers 1. It Reading, may be one, a bit of a mission Nottingham trying Forest, to catch them two, if they keep on winning Watford, the way that two, they do keep winning. Derby County 0. Wigan Athletic 1. We've Birmingham City still got two. to play them now for the Let's second game of the season. Anyway, here's the uh, league the table, the table as it's currently standing. Norwich we've dropped two places down points. with that draw. Second, we've now dropped to 11th. We've uh, played 15, third, won table, 6, drawn Watford 3, lost points. 6. Four, goals for, we table, have got 9 goals against, we've got 10. So we've got a deficit of minus 1. A win, though, in our next game could jump us up to 5th as long as everybody else loses. And as I said, this seven, next game is against table, Middlesbrough. I hope that you will come points. back and join us. Eight, I can't promise table, that it will be better Birmingham than the game City that you've seen today, points. but let's hope it Bottom is. Table, anyway, Nottingham thank you very much for watching. Points. I've been M. Mal. Take care, table, and I'll see you on the next video. Till then, points. bye for now. Bournemouth with 13 points. Fourth bottom, moving down, are Late Orient with 14 points. Fifth bottom and falling are Millwall with 15 points. Anyway, a big thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video of FIFA 15. Leave a like if you can and comment if you want to. And please click the big subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. Add me on all the social media sites. The links are in the descriptions. As is the information if you ever want to play a game with me. Also, 
come and join in the fun at the live streams that I do. Links are on the screen right now. Anyway, I hope to see you all in the next video. Once again, thanks for watching. And until then, bye for now.